The Little House at 221 Shelby Street in Santa Fe has been the site of a few of the city difference best eateries. And now Tante Luce has moved in. It's casual sophistication, eclectic European cuisine, fine wines, and sexy cocktails have made it an instant hit with locals and visitors alike. And I'm so pleased to say that executive chef Tom Kirpin joins us in our Builders First Kitchen. Good morning. Good morning, Nikki. Well, thank you for being here. It smells fantastic. And so I have to ask you first, do you have a signature dish? We, they're all signature dishes. Everyone asks me what my favorite uh, dish is on the menu, and I say, well, they're all my children. I can't mm. pick one. Don't ask me to pick That's one. That's a good answer. Um, but we change our menu seasonally, and uh, mm. we're fairly new in Santa Fe. We've been open since April. Great. So we're coming up on our new, new one year anniversary, which yes. will be great. And. Uh, and just trying to make our way through. Well, you already have a great reputation. You're doing something right. And I have to ask you about these sexy cocktails that guests can sip on during your very, by the way, affordable happy hour. Tell us about that. We have happy hour. We're closed on Mondays. We have happy hour every day, Tuesday through Sunday, 4 okay. to 7. Uh, 7 for 7 until 7. So uh, <laughs> Perfect. Uh, uh, all the bar menu items are $7, and uh, a selection of our signature cocktails and wine is uh, $7 as well. Super affordable. Uh, which would include, um, our most popular cocktail right now is the 221 Margarita. Ooh. It's infused with cucumber and green chili. Um, very wow. popular. People very think, New Mexico style. Yeah, kind of, and, and people say, no green chili in my margarita, and then they have it, and they say, I'll yeah. have another margarita. Exactly, exactly. Well, you know, I mentioned that you're doing a lot for Restaurant Week. Can you tell us a little bit about the Restaurant Week menu? Restaurant Week menu, we have uh, three courses for $20. Uh, wow. It's a choice of uh, Caesar salad, our organic greens, or our soup of the day, which changes daily. <laughs> How ironic. It's a choice of, the entree is a choice of uh, chicken piccata, traditional chicken piccata, Molasses glazed pork tenderloin or a butternut squash polenta for our vegetarian uh -huh. friends. Sounds and amazing. then we make our sorbet in house and we have a choice of a, a raspberry, a mango, or a yuzu sorbet this oh, week. Delicious. And what you're cooking today is pretty fantastic in itself. Tell us a little bit about what you're making and how it gets put together. This is one of our uh, dishes. It's been on the menu since we started. It's a mm. braised buffalo short rib. Whoa. Uh, buffalo short rib. It's, a, it's one of those tougher cuts of meat that okay. you want to. Uh, Cook for a very, very long time. What's so, very, very long typically? Five hours. Five hours. Six okay. hours. To give yourself seven the hours. whole day. Mm -hmm. Don't. This is one of those ones you throw in the oven and you don't worry about. Okay. Until the whole house smells really good. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. And then you can say, it's time to eat. Time to eat, absolutely. <laughs> so, what we're doing here, we have a buffalo short rib. There's three ribs on there. And I'm putting it in the saute pan to crisp it up on either side before I put it in the oven. Nice. Um, okay. So, we're doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, Braising is one of those things that's near and dear to my heart. It's good at this time of year when it's chilly outside too, yeah. because once again it warms the house up mm -hmm. and it makes your uh, and and uh, it's one of those rich, hearty dishes that's yeah. uh, traditional. You can use this with buffalo short rib, beef short rib, any kind of short rib. Um, it's really good in your crock pot at home. Mm. And, and it's comfort food. It's exactly right. Um, it's something that makes you feel good. Definitely. Um, and that's the way. I mean. As cooks, the pendulum swung a lot. I yeah. remember when we used to put two ounces of protein, four sauces, and a little garnish and <laughs> called it $42. <laughs> We've come back to comfort food. Yes, and part of that includes the side dishes, and I know you have some delicious sides for us as well. Yes, you've been worried about these truffled mashed potatoes since I walked he in knows, this morning. He knows, he knows. I've been a little bit excited about this. <laughs> so we're going to uh, make a little truffled mashed potatoes. Once again, hearty comfort food and yes. saute a little uh, a little uh, spinach mm. because sautéed spinach Delish. goes with that just perfectly well. Okay. So we've got this just about where I want it. Perfect. And I'm going to cut it while these are cooking. And about how long do you usually cook the uh, truffle mashed potatoes for? Mashed potatoes? Mm -hmm. You can make mashed potatoes a couple days ahead. Okay. Good idea. And uh, you can always warm them back up. Great. So you want to put when you braise something, you want to put the meat in whatever pan you're going to roast it in. Okay. Put a little aromatic in there, which will include, we call it mirepoix, uh, onions, carrots, celery, a little bit of garlic. Uh, always use a bay leaf. Mm. That's because Escoffier said that 100 years ago. So okay. always so use we'll a bay leaf. Okay, we'll take Little black peppercorn, a <laughs> uh, little bit of uh, parsley, thyme, and a touch of rosemary, just because these are aromatics that I like. Okay, and when I you, don't blame you. And when you braise, the whole idea of braising is to cover what you're braising in liquid because it's cooking in sure. the liquid. Um, so you can use anything you want. And you're using? This is red wine. Okay. 
Awesome. This is also <laughs> veal stock. Not everybody has veal stock, okay. but make your make stock at home. Make mm -hmm. stock at home. Okay. It's easy. Perfect. It's easy. Just look it up. There's a million stock recipes on there. Okay. And if you don't have all that, this is called water pipe stock. Oh yeah, <laughs> because yes, it comes yes. out of the pipe in the wall. And while you do yeah. that, I want to remind all our viewers how they can find Tante Lucci and come on in, not only for Restaurant Week, but all year long. So let's show them how they can do that. Of course, as we mentioned, right on 221 Shelby Street, and you can call 505-988-2355 for those reservations. And how long are you going to braise it for now? Normally, it would be, you said, anywhere from five to seven hours, right? Well, I'm going to be here all day, so yeah, we're going to okay, eat. Yeah, okay, good. So we'll um, eat tonight. Yeah, this would go <laughs> at a low temperature between 250 and 300 for okay. add, depending on how hot your oven runs, uh, uh, for four to five hours. Great. And when we come back, we're doing our favorite thing through the magic of television. It'll be ready and we'll taste <laughs> it. Don't go away. <laughs> Well, we are so pleased that Tante Lucci cooked for us today. Oh, that smells amazing. <laughs> so tell everybody one more time what you've made for us as we show them the final presentation before we taste. Braised buffalo short rib with mm. truffle mashed potatoes, uh, a little sautéed spinach, and a little red wine sauce. Oh, I smell that. Oh, this is fantastic. Thank you so much for uh, making this. You all are fun to cook and, uh, for. Final touch there, right? Little red Final wine touch. sauce right oh, over the top. Oh, yeah. And you guys have to go on in and check it out over in Santa Fe. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks to all of today's guests. Thank you for watching. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. If there's anything you need to know, just go to our website at casa.com. Yeah, watch out for the wind this afternoon. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Have a good one. Fork time. Fork <laughs> <laughs> <Talking> night time. <laughs> Thank you, Scott.